listeners like you. And by Delta Airlines, because geography is important for kids everywhere. Delta Airlines, you'll love the way we fly. San Diego. And one of these gumshoes could find her. He's traveled to Maine and Florida and likes to play basketball. Meet Daniel Solomon. He likes soccer and baseball and has traveled to Peru. Meet Marvin Valenzuela. He's traveled to Nigeria and likes to do crossword puzzles. Meet Eliat and Alabi. Blythe, how are you, man? Nice to see you. Hey, Marvin, good to see you. Hey, Daniel, nice to see you. Hey, listen, they're with me every day. Rock <laughs> Oh, yeah. Real quickly, guys, the one of you that catches Carmen San Diego today is going to get that trip to anywhere in North America, and that is not bad, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> so, Chief, who are we after? This is Nimoy. Nimoy. Her face is cute, but she's unsavory. Watch out for her knack with knavery. Her last known whereabouts... California. Pinus longeva is Latin for a long-lived pine, and it's a perfect name for the bristlecone pine trees in the White Mountains. Some have been alive more than 4,000 years, and that makes bristlecones the oldest living things on Earth. Why, some of these trees were around before the Egyptian pyramids. Dense, resistant wood is what helps them weather eons of ice, sand, and drought. And even when bristle cones do die, they can still remain standing for centuries. Or they did until today. <laughs> when noxious Nimoy careened into California to knock on wood. Then she branched out to breathe in the bristle cones. And before you could say, another pine mess, every last bristle was gone. She plans to sell the trees on Roddenberry as a nasal decongestant. Gumshoes, you've got to get rough with that stuffed puff and solve today's case. Shoe trees. Oh, yeah. I see, I see. Okay, guys, trying to find Nemo and the pine trees to help you out. We're going to start you off with 50 at me crime bucks. There they are. Every time you answer a question correctly, I'm going to give you 10 more crime bucks. And the two of you with the highest scores at the end of this round will then proceed to the next round, okay? So let's get started with our very first clue, which comes to us from our favorite kleptomaniac, Phil the Barber. Phil? <laughs> <laughs> so, then, so then they said, Phil, do you have any ideas for the title of this song? And I said, how about taking hair of business? <laughs> I'm a barber. I'm a barber. Hey, Craig, how are you? Good to see you. Listen, I heard Nimoy's in a country that's east of the Korean Peninsula. See, every August they hold a, the Old Bone Festival, which is sort of a meet and greet with the souls of departed relatives. In the city of Kyoto, the festival wraps up with huge hillside bonfires that can be seen for miles. One fire shaped just like the Chinese character Dai, which looks sort of like... Uh, well, it looks like this, actually. Yes, it means big. Then on the other nearby hillsides, there are fires shaped like other characters, and everyone watches and wishes their departed relatives well. It's quite a sight. And speaking of quite a sight, take a look at this. Huh? How about this? I call it my Marlin Brandu. Huh? Well, it looks good, but it smells a little fishy. <laughs> I'm working on it. All right, fellas, that kind of reminds me of the words of a popular singer. Joy to the fishes. In the deep blue sea. Joy to you and me. Who's next? I believe I got your number. Okay. How you feeling there? Okay, thanks a lot, Phil. Guys, name the country where Nimoy has taken the pine trees. Is it Japan, <laughs> Philippines, or Brunei? Remember the clues that we heard? East of the Korean Peninsula, Obon Festival, and Hillside Fires of Kyoto. Come up with an answer as quick as you can, guys. Trying to find Nimoy and the pine trees once you're ready. That's it. Yes, yes. Oh, yes. Perfect. Olayaton, uh, what do you say? I said Brunei. Brunei. What do you think, Marvin? I said Japan. Japan. Daniel? I also chose Japan. Japan. The answer we're looking for is Japan. Nice job, Marvin. Daniel? All right, Gumshoes, for our next clue, we go to the Misfits in the Attic. Tis 
the future where Leroy is sick. Where is Head for replacing Northern Great Brit. It's something else in case you didn't know it. Didn't it know was it. the home of Robert Burns, the famous poet. poet. People everywhere uh, gather for Renee yeah. to celebrate his birthday every single year. They mix a meal and onions in sheep intestine. The mix is called haggis and that's part of the lesson. You better get going so you can find a tree. Cause Leroy is running like a lukewarm cheese. Oh yeah, Jeannie and Donna. Let's hear it for him, folks. Nice. All right, don't you name the place, if you will, please. Is it Northern Ireland, Faroe Islands, or Scotland? Remember the clues that we heard. Northern Great Britain, home of Robert Burns, and food called haggis. Everybody is ready. Olayton, what do you say? I said Scotland. Scotland. Marvin. I also said Scotland. Same thing. Daniel. I also said Scotland. Everybody said the same thing. Everybody is right. Thank you very much. All right, guys, now it's time for my favorite part of the show, the lightning round. Go! Ah, look out! Oh, look out for the lightning! Look out for the lightning! Look out for the lightning! Ah! <laughs> Pretty close. Uh, we just received word that uh, Nimoy has been seen in Romania, so all these questions are going to be about Romania. So hands on the buzzers. Five crime books every time you answer your question correctly. Here is the first question. You might think of this place as home to a fictional vampire, but it's also the largest region in Romania. Am I talking about Pennsylvania, Transylvania? Oh, oh uh, Marvin. Transylvania. Is right. Nice job. Fire for you. Good job, buddy. Take you 75. Here's the second question. Uh, Mamaliga is a national dish of Romania and was once a part of almost every meal. What is Mamaliga? Uh, is it uh, tofu nuggets, cornmeal mush, or noodles Romanov? Daniel. Noodles Romanoff. Sorry, it's not Noodles Romanoff. Uh, Marvin. C. Uh, sorry, it's not Noodles Romanoff. Uh, Oliatin. Um, B. Uh, cornmeal mush is right. Nice job. Fire for you. Thank you, 65. Here's the last question. For this New Year's tradition, boys pull a pluga shoru... Mm. Pluga shorul through rural villages as a sign of good luck for the coming year. What is a pluga shorul? Is it a plow, a boogie board, or a snowmobile? Uh, Olayton. Snowmobile. Sorry, it's not a snowmobile. Uh, Daniel. A. A, a plow is right. Nice job, Daniel. Give him a hand, guys. Okay, guys, very close game we got going on here. Greg? Anything? Yeah, Chief. Have you forgotten what day of the week it is? Well, no, I don't think so. Oh, wait a minute. It's dance day. All right, I'll be right there, Chief. You guys, I'll meet you in the alley. You guys come with me. It's dance day. <laughs> Shall we? Chief, it would be my pleasure. What's today's dance? Well, it's a new one, Greg. Uh -huh. But I'm sure you'll pick it up right away. Right. It's a little something we call the Pangalusi. The Pangalusi. What do I do? I... Oh, uh, what are you doing? Now, uh, just follow along, follow okay. along. all right. Oh, you're getting all ready. <laughs> well, you know, I've got a very good teacher. <laughs> Why, thank you. By the way, yeah. who won the viewer contest today? Ah, here they are right here. The winners. Congratulations, Congratulations to, to the, the winners. winners. Greg, Greg, that Congratulations. looks like a chicken. It's more ostrich-like. Okay. Uh, if you want to be a winner, here's what you do. Every time you watch the show... Write down what got stolen and from where. When you've got four loots in location, put them on a postcard and send them to Acme Crime Net, P.O. Box 4300, New York, New York, 10163. Every day, we'll pick five people whose lips are correct and send them each a Carmen T-shirt. Dip? Of course. Ready? Oh, Chief, oh. you really dance divinely. <laughs> oh, it's my pleasure, oh. Greg. My pleasure. And you Thank know, you. Uh, there's another dance called the uh, the Wacky Wombat. Oh, oh, to. Greg, the Acme Handbook specifically states only one new dance per dance day. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Okay. Mm. The Pink Hydrant is the hottest Greg, dance. Greg, I said no. Next time. Next time. If I could just have a little traveling music, please. Sure. Oh, he really is quite good. Guys, 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 guys. I can't stop. Somebody hold me back. Hold me back. Hold me back. Hold me back. Okay, thank you. 
little training exercise, fellas. Let's go right this way. Everybody pick out a trash can. What you're going to do is help us find clues. They're going to help us find our crook. And what better place to find those clues than right here? I'm in here in a trash can. Here's what you're going to do. You're going to take the lid off the trash can like this. And, oh, look at that, huh? It's a camera. Hey, whoa. Look at it. Look at that. You like that? Hi, Mom. Yeah, very good. Cool. Then, not that impressed, huh? I don't think so. Okay, so you'll go down here and you'll, uh, you'll pick out a card that has the flag of the country that we're looking for on one side. It'll have a clue on the other side, okay? And I'll be behind that. And then what you have to do to finish everything up is just go in here and then you're going to take the lid to the trash can and put it on top just like this. Okay? Let's see how fast you guys can do this thing. Whew. On your mark. Get set. Go! Find those cards, guys. Find those cards. And don't forget to put the lid back on. Very important. There it is. There's one. Good, 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 good. Put the lid on. Put the lid on. Put the lid on. Two. And one more. Put the lid on. Yeah. Nice job. Okay. So, uh, Elijah, you're the first one. And then Daniel. And then Marvin. Elijah, what does your card say? It says city. City. I can, I can tell you that Tripoli is the largest city in this country. Daniel, how about you? Government. Government. I'll tell you, the country is ruled by Colonel Muammar Gaddafi. Mar uh, Marvin, what does your card say? Language. Arabic is an official language of this country, okay? So, uh, Elita, you were the first one done. You get a first crack at this. Is it Syria, Libya, or Iraq? Um, Syria. Judges in time? Sorry, that's not the answer we're looking for. Daniel, you get the next uh, chance. What do, you, what do you think it is? Syria, Libya, or Iraq? Libya. Libya is right. Nice job. Ten cry bucks for you. Way to go, guys. Very good. Oh, that tells us we have something coming in from Acme Bugnet. Let's check the phone tap. Bustle the bristle cones to Arizona, then dump them in a deep gorge formed by the Colorado River. Well, Carmen, what if I can't find it? You will, thanks to the explorer John Wesley Powell. He led a crew in the 1800s that charted the Colorado River and its tributaries. Before that, the area wasn't even on a map. Sure it was. I saw it at a gas station on Roddenberry. I mean Earth's maps, Nimoy. And there's more. Powell lost an arm in the Civil War, but he didn't let that stop him from running these rugged expeditions. Well, that doesn't surprise me. I've traveled the universe with one tentacle. Okay, guys, name the region where Nimoy has taken the pine trees. Is it Black Canyon, Grand Canyon, or Death Valley? Remember the clues that we heard in Arizona. Gorge formed by Colorado River and first charted by John Wesley Powell. Everybody's ready. Eliaton, what do you say? I said Grand Canyon. Grand Canyon. Marvin? I also said Grand Canyon. Same thing. Daniel? Grand Canyon. Everybody said the same thing. Everybody is right. Nice job, guys. <laughs> Let's see what the scores are looking like now. Elijah has 75, Marvin 85, Daniel 95, Acme Crime Bucks. However, we just received word that Nemo has left the Grand Canyon. So let's pick up the chase. Ooh, the chase. Hey, okay. All these are worth five Acme Crime. Careful, careful. All these are worth five Acme Crime Bucks. Uh, hands in the buzzers. Watch the monitor. Listen carefully. Here we go. Nemo planted the pine trees. Daniel. Vermont. Is right. Then she wiggled east over the state line. What state is she in now? Uh, Oliathan. New Hampshire. Yes. Next she zoomed to Massachusetts National. Marvin. Um, Cod. Cape Cod is right. Nimoy trucked the trees to New York's capital. Name it. Oliathan. Oliathan. Albany. So Albany is right. Then she skateboarded into the smallest of the great... Oh, uh, Daniel. Erie. Sorry, it's Ontario. That means at the end of the chase round. Oliathan has 85. Marvin, 90. Daniel, 100. Nice big round of applause, folks. <laughs> Good round, you guys. Okay, real quickly, for those of you at home, all of our answers have been verified by... National Geographic World. That's why we sing that little song. Also, you need to know that uh, this is the final clue of this round, which means you have to decide how much you want to risk. So, you can risk 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, or 50 at me. Crime Bucks, take a look. Right over here, if you will, please. Here's a portion of the world where we think Nimoy is headed. Take a look at the map and think about it. All right, Elijah is ready. So is Daniel and Marvin. Uh, not an answer this time, Marvin, but uh, but a risk. Did you, did you get a risk? There you go. Yeah, 10, 20, 30, 40, or 50. All right. There you go. We'll be right with you. Just hey, go get a sandwich.